I had been an actress all my life, and one of the first roles that I did was as the young slave girl Rachel in The Ten Commandments, which is shown every year. It has certainly a life of its own, as I guess the Bible does, and it's ongoing. Kathy Garver was at UCLA when she got a call about an audition. I was in the hi-fi sorority. My mother calls and she says, Kathy, you have an interview. We've got to be in Westwood in the afternoon. I said, okay, that's fine, Mom. I'm, I'm done with my classes. And I said, what's it for? He says, well, it's for this new television series, but they want a blonde, blue-eyed girl. I said, okay. <laughs> now, at that time, I did not have little Goldilocks. What? No, <laughs> I had dark hair and I still had dark eyes, and we did not have blue contact lenses during that time. Despite their preferences, Kathy charmed the producers and won the role of Katherine Patterson Davis, better known as Sissy on Family Affair. The show, about 15-year-old Sissy and her six-year-old twin siblings moving in with their rich uncle and his butler after being orphaned, premiered on September 12, 1966, and ran until 1971. I term it more of a dramedy than a comedy. And the essence of the comedy was situational, and it depended on what was happening. You know, the problem was set up. You know, how are you going to solve the problem? It goes to the climax, a little denouement. And so it followed a classic kind of theme. However, um, the comedy was gentle. On the surface, we were, you know, the happy kids. Our parents had died in a tragedy, and we were orphans, and what do you do? So underneath the gentle comedy was always that kind of churning and that roiling of something of the remembrance of that tragedy. Brian Keith played Uncle Bill in the beloved sitcom that redefined family. How come we didn't think of a party? Because we needed Uncle Bill's extra head. That's right. Okay. I'll leave it up to you. Our show in particular was really about love. There was a really connection and a true affection for the members of this unlikely troupe that got together of, you know, three kids and a bachelor and, and a manny. I'm talking of more of a micro kind of love in a family unit where people had respect for each other. What a concept. Garver, who went on to have a successful career, most notably doing voiceovers, says despite being an unconventional family, the show resonated with viewers because it stayed true to the family unit. What we did was right for the family and right for the circumstances and right for a bachelor trying to have a ready-made family given to him and then what to do. And there was maybe a little lesson, there was a, a kind of a moral, but the morality was being honest and understanding a situation and understanding where another person was coming from instead of being so self-involved and so entitled, that's all that the show was about. So I think that was the grand lesson, 